Dave Ramsey has persuaded millions of people all around the globe that credit cards are bad. The question is, is he right? Are they bad? So we're gonna talk about in today's video. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrick Kenny, and if you're new around here, what we do is we talk about how to make better financial decisions and also, of course, make money from the internet. And if you are new and you want to learn more, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button and also click that like button because we're making a ton of content to help you with nothing in return. And what we want to talk about today is credit cards. And so, first things first. I wanna talk about credit cards like this. I view credit cards like alcohol. So think about alcohol. In the right person's hands, it can be used to enhance the situation and it can be used for good. In the wrong person's hands, I don't even think I have to continue that statement. It can be used for bad. And right people enjoy alcohol responsibly. Wrong people start to abuse it and becomes an addiction. That is how I view credit cards. And the first thing I want you to know is that if you are a person that is already in financial trouble, you're already in debt, you already are having trouble running your own finances, credit cards are not going to be for you. It's not gonna fix your life because you have credit cards. But if you're a person that says, I'm debt free, I've got some money in the bank, I've never really leveraged credit, I am mature in my finances, this is the video for you. Because credit cards are not bad. Let's face it, credit cards are tools. And if used correctly, they can really excel your financial future. So in today's video, I wanna talk about a couple different things as to why I think credit cards are good. First things first, when you have a credit card versus a debit card, if you get that credit card stolen, it is very easy to call up the credit card company and say, hey, my credit card was stolen, that charge was not mine, I need to get my money back on that. Credit card companies have fraud protection all over the world. For protection purposes, credit cards are not even close to debit cards. Debit cards, good luck of telling that person that it wasn't you, especially if you have a PIN enabled, and it's really hard to get your money back, especially because it's already come out of your bank account, where a credit card, you're running it on a line of credit. So first is your protection. Number two is my bread and butter. Do you wanna know how all 2019 I spent literally no money on flights? Literally no money on flights. It's because of credit card spending. I have figured out a way to generate more Sky Miles through bonuses. And secondly, I figured out a way how to shop with miles to find the best deals. It has enabled me to generate anywhere from 50 to 80,000 Sky Miles a month. To put that into perspective, I live in Phoenix. If you were to fly round trip from Phoenix to New York, round trip, guess how many Sky Miles it costs you? 12,000. I'm generating anywhere from 50 to 100,000 per month. Number three, this is a big part. In order to get ahead, you need to have good credit. If you wanna get involved in different investment endeavors, credit is going to come into play, especially to get into bigger deals. And if you have no credit history, the banks don't know that you are a trustworthy individual, especially if you're one of those guys that was cash only all your life. Keep in mind, people that frown upon credit cards were probably burnt before. I'm not saying Dave Ramsey in this case, but Dave Ramsey was bankrupt at one point in his life. Why? He got burnt by debt. So what does he do? He takes out his frustration on credit. He takes out his frustration on debt and says, all debt's bad debt. We need to use cash to buy our house. We need to use cash to buy our cars. We need to use cash to buy our investments, to get in our investments. When in reality, if you use them for the proper purposes, they can boost you and, and, and be way farther than you would have been before. And that leads me to number four, the sign-up bonuses. If you are right now in a situation where you are already planning to go on a vacation, you are already planning to remodel your home, maybe you're planning to buy a new computer, it might be a thousand bucks. If you are already planning this purchase, why not go shop online for a new credit card? Heck, yesterday I saw in an envelope that was addressed to me a new credit card from Discover. And it said, if I spend a thousand dollars in the next three months, they would give me $200 in cash back. Well, if I'm already planning to spend the $1,000, I might as well get that credit card, especially if I'm new to credit, put it on that credit card, and then get $200 back. Why? I just got a 20% deduction on my overall purchase that I wouldn't have had if I didn't use credit. So again, credit, like I said in the beginning, is like alcohol. 
If used by the wrong person, it is dangerous. If used by the right person, it can be used to enhance a situation. And that's what I want you guys to think about. So all credit is not bad credit. All debt is not bad debt. You have to know where to put your money. And so if you got something out of this video, if you agree or disagree, feel free to drop in the comments. Click that like button and do not forget to join our army and click that subscribe button because we're growing every single day. And with that said, I will see you guys on the next video.